Well, I think uh, the blog on feminism and religion uh, is a very important project. This feminism and religion project was really founded in the spirit of community. It offers a space where feminist scholars, activists, and community members can come together to dialogue about important issues. Definitely. The blog definitely serves as a community. One where we can exchange ideas, and, and it's mutual and it's respectful. So, you know, where do we interact with each other across our different interests and the, our passions? Where do we, where are we able to engage with each other's ideas, challenge them, learn from them, build on them? So one of the main objectives is to have the blog be that place, or one of the places. This project, this blog project, has the potential to create a global conversation. It provides a space for women of different faiths, uh, different generations, geographies, ethnicities, to engage with a conversation of, you know, not just feminism and religion, but how these two, um, how these two things interact with uh, greater, you know, elements. It's a way for women to reach outside of boundaries that have restricted them for so many years. So whatever it is, this allows women to connect with more women than they would in their regular life, and it's a very powerful tool. A blog like this really allows people to launch into the particular piece of their own experience uh, as authoritative for them and to explore it. In the words of Carol Chris, women's voices are a lifeline, and I think that that's really true, and we see that that's true here on this blog. Um, you know, every day people are commenting and responding and saying, that's my experience too. I believe in this blog so much that I have incorporated it into my class. The students will be taking turns, uh, posting guest blogs, and then commenting on those. And I think it'll be a great way for the students to keep in touch with one another, not just on the weekly times that we meet. And also for people in the rest of the world to get to listen in on our conversation. So if we could use this blog as a way of creating a global conversation in places where no other way of global connections are possible, I think that'll be a huge achievement. As a future endeavor, we're counting on our words counting. In 100 years, 200 years, when people want to know what women's religious life is in the 21st century, I think a lot of them are going to be going to the blogs. They're going to be going to blogs like this and it is going to be an invaluable resource for scholars in the future.